Huh? Buddha said, don't listen to me. Yes, he said that. He said, don't listen to me because I am saint. Take everything I say, be a jeweler who examines the gem, finds its purity and decides for himself whether this is worth keeping or this is worth discarding. So, when Buddha said, don't listen to me, right? I can of course say, please don't listen. But, think for yourself whether an approach of staying with reality for what it is seems like a healthier approach or an approach of affirming seems like a healthier approach. Now, the way I look at it, with, especially with Louise Hay and these kind of philosophies, the way I look at it is, sometimes you can even affirm yourself without taking yourself seriously. But that's a different level. It is, I look at myself in the mirror, I don't find myself good looking, let's say. Or I don't like my nose, let's say. And then Louise Hay says, every day look at yourself in the mirror and say, I like what I see. Now that's a difficult one, right? And then we are like, I like what I see, I like. But really what is coming up as an experience, I don't like what I see. Yeah, it could be, na? I don't like what I see, then you are telling yourself, I like. But, 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 I am not completely discarding that philosophy yet. I am, I am saying, if you are mindful of not liking, then you become aware of what? What is this not liking? The universe made me a certain way. Right? What is this I am liking myself, not liking? What is this attachment? That's mindfulness, no? That's mindfulness, no? And then I come to what conclusion after that? I like myself because the universe made me like that. You see? So I come back to Louise here. But not by suppressing what I feel, but actually noticing what I feel. Does it make sense? Because then I like myself, not because I like my nose, any, but because the universe shaped it this way. So it's as beautiful as every leaf is, every dog is, every ant is, so is my nose. But it is subtle. It is subtle and slow work needs to be done. So like I said, take it, examine it, question it, talk to people who understand more about the subject. Have discussions around it. You know, things, this is the way things open up for us. It's not that we fully understand these things at the world, at the go. Nobody does. So then I'm creating less suffering because I'm taking myself for what I am with full enjoyment. There is no criticism. Isn't that? But that is also dropping the eye. <laughs>